your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Dothan Civic Center for the Dothan Progress Dothan Eagle 20th Holiday Classic Tournament. I'm Mitt Kirk along with Bobby Price. Bobby, we've seen some basketball tonight. I'm just worn out from the previous two games. I don't, I don't know if I can make it through another game like the two we've had before this one. Well, they've both been thrillers. Uh, of course, they, they, uh, Northview game and Whitford Academy was nip and tuck until five minutes were left, and then uh, Whitford Academy walked away with a 20-point win. But the Dothan Tiger uh, game was uh, close all the way to the end, and they win by one. Uh, by, to two, by, by two. two. By two. They had to advance to the, uh, the next round. Okay, the matchup tonight, we have the Abbeville Yellow Jackets versus the Ashford Yellow Jackets. So, a Yellow Jacket will take the victory home tonight, that's for sure. No doubt. But which one we'll have to see. Ready for a tip-off. Jumping for Abbeville. That was the Sean Dance. Ashford comes up with the tip. Takes it down, number 32. And it's a jump, jump ball, ball on the right first the play. <laughs> Right so off it the was bat. Uh, possession to Abbeville. Abbeville gets the ball, so they stop Ashford on that first possession. Abbeville brings the cross court down the dance. Up, slam the first one of the game. That's number 42. Lawrence. Lawrence, Victor Lawrence puts it in for two, jams it in, turnover, and the Jackets going to put another one in easy. And oh, he's and he blocked. Great block by number five. Came out of nowhere and blocked that one. But Abbeville gets the ball back and puts it in. That's, That's number 30. So Abbeville runs off to a quick 4-0 lead. And Ashford calls a timeout, a smart timeout. So it's a 4-0 game uh, in Abbeville's lead. Yes, it is. And, of course, that was a big win for Ashford last night. Uh, reading the article in the Dothan Eagle today, uh, the coach had lost his aunt earlier in the day. So uh, he, he, they dedicated that win last night to, uh, to his aunt. And uh, it, he said it was just an emotional victory for them. Abbeville has come out, and they've jumped all over the Ashford Yellow Jackets. So we have a bell of the Jackets, and uh, right now, it's no contest, but it's early in the game, 4-0, 724 left in the first quarter. Full, full court press on both so, ends of the court, both schools. Ashford gets the ball in and down and puts it up and in. That was number five. That's hit by Jackson. Jackson, Lamarlin Jackson puts it in. So Ashford's pressing full court. Abbeville goes up, that's number 32. Number 30. 30. Fabreville goes up, and he's fouled. Durr is going to go to the free throw line yeah, to shoot two. Call the number five, Jackson. His first personal foul, team first. So it's a 4-2 game. Durr at the line for the Abbeville. Durr at the line for Abbeville. He'll be shooting two. Makes his first one. It's in. I think they put the... Score up on the wrong one. It should be 5-2. Okay, they're getting it straight. He misses the sack when Ashford comes down with the rebound. That's number 24 for Ashford. That's Henry Fields. Ashford's moving the ball fast. Up. And it's in. Yep. So Ashford will not be denied. Ashford forces a turnover. Gets the ball back. Down to number 25. He goes up. And misses Fields with the rebound, goes up and puts it, in, it in to give Ashford That's a 6 to 5 two. lead. Oh, go Yellow Jackets. <laughs> Helen jumped out on Ashford, but Ashford retaliated, and they are playing some good basketball. Yes, they, they are. They are putting a lot of defensive pressure on Abbeville. First uh, half a minute or so, you thought this was going to be a blowout by Abbeville, but things are quick to turn around. Deshaun Danza from the corner. He misses number five for Ashford, comes down with the rebound. That's, That's Jackson. Passes over to 25, who takes a shot. It's no good. Dossie misses. And, and Dancy has the rebound. The Abbeville Yellow Jackets on the move. All the way to the basket. It's number 40. Basket Chris Jackson. Jackson. Puts it in for two more. 
Ashford gets the ball down court to Fields. He slows it up. Waiting for his other players to come down. Shot by number 23 for a three. He misses, but he gets his rebound over to Fields. Set it up in the middle. Turn around jumper. No good. Miss. And Ashford steals the ball. They are playing tough defense. Pulls up for a shot. Misses. Ashford missed three opportunities there, but they're playing tough. Outlet pass to number 40, and Dan he puts it in. Uh, Dan Zeta Jackson, nice assist there. It's a 9-6 uh, ball game for the Abbeville Yellow Jackets, and they steal it again. And they put it in for two more. Number 30, Durr, 11-6 is our score. And Ashford turns it over again. So we saw a swing of momentum. Um, you know, it, it came out Abbeville was like really pouring it on. Then Ashford got some momentum and they started pouring on. Now the swing is back toward Abbeville. And they're going to call a foul on number 30, Brian Durr, for the Abbeville Yellow Jackets. And uh, the Ashford Yellow Jacket coach wants a timeout. The score 11-6, uh, the Abbeville leading Ashford with 4.54 left in the first period of play. I guess he changed his mind all the time. Fields with the ball for the Ashford Yellow Jackets. They get it across court. Passing around looking for something to happen. Fields back over to number number 22. Uh, Anthony Crawford got real hot in the game last night. Came on with we call him Mr. Yellow Shoes. Uh, <laughs> he scored quite a few points, quite active in their win uh, on the previous game that uh, they were involved in. Crawford for Ashford came in and played an outstanding game off the bench last night. Drive down the baseline by number 40 for Abbeville. It's up and good. So Abbeville's really pointed on. The, like I said, we've had another momentum shift. Shot. Up and no good by number 14 by Ashford. Danzig gets a rebound. It's a 4-1 break. And they come up with it. Jackson. Jackson puts it in off the assist. And the Ashford Yellow Jacket coach Ashford wants a timeout. A full timeout. It's a 15-6 game. Uh, Ashford's, lead, uh, Ashford's trailing the Yellow Jackets of Abbeville. All right, we got number 40, Jackson for Abbeville, has already put eight, eight points in. Uh, also, uh, points also included, uh, number four, go back to the, uh, uh, let's see, for Ashford, we got uh, Fields with four, and Jackson with two for Ashford for their six points, and then we go over to the Abbeville uh, store, and we have five points with Durr, eight points with Jackson with number 40, and number two, uh, 40. To Lawrence for the 15 points for the Abbeville Yellow Jackets. Ashford's got to settle things down and, and work for the good shots like they did earlier. Abbeville uh, is a running team. They run and they score off fast breaks, and that's what they've done so far in the game. So Ashford's got to find a way to contain Abbeville, slow down the fast break, and uh, to maintain possession to get some opportunities to score themselves. But the Abbeville Yellow Jackets will continue their full court pressure. Uh, on the Ashford Yellow Jackets. Crawford brings it across midcourt. And they turn it over yet again. And, uh, and travel is called on Abbeville. Number 40. Uh, Jackson called for traveling. So turnover from Abbeville. Ashford brings it in. So Ashford's getting another opportunity here, and last time they had the ball, they turned it over. And you can't score points on turnovers unless you're the opposing team. So it's important to maintain possession of the ball and uh, to, to create some scoring opportunities. And we have a foul call on red, number 22. The Abbeville foul on number 22, Sewell, his first personal foul. Sewell is called for the foul, second team foul on Abbeville. Sewell's first personal. Crawford with the ball for Ashford. He brings it across midcourt over the fields. 
And they almost turn it over again. Abbeville's playing tough defense, but Ashford gets a break, drive to the basket, and Miss Ashford, uh, Abbeville comes down with the rebound. Victor Lawrence picked up that rebound. Passes inside off to number 44, uh, Deshaun Danzi, and he can't handle it, so turnover for Abbeville. They tried to pass the ball off to uh, Danzi, breaking down the lane, but it uh, bounced off of Danzi and out of bounds, and Ashford got it. Ball to Fields. He pulls up for a short jumper, and it rolls out, and the ball is off of an Ashford player. So At 24 for Ashford, ran in uh, to, to try to pick that up, Henry Fields, and it went out of bounds on him. So Abbeville on the move now. Ashford has gone cold here uh, late in the first quarter. They're trailing 15 to 6. Offensive foul called on 23, 22. 22 of Abbeville. Sewell. Sewell's call for the foul. The Abbeville foul is on number 22, Sewell. His second personal foul, 13. Both teams ice cold on the floor here, uh, not scoring any points in the last uh, minute, minute and a half. Still 15 to 6 to score with Abbeville on top. Ashley with it. Crawford has it. He tries to get it across court. He does. Over the fields. Back to Crawford. He works around. Ashford's just trying to get something to happen. Three-point attempt. And it's a big three-pointer by Fields. Number 24, Henry Fields, the big senior 6-2, puts it in for three. It's 15 to 9 is the score. So it is a dry spell for Ashford. They hadn't been able to put any points on the board in quite a while. A no-look pass by Abbeville, and it bounces off of an that and Ashford gets a break here. Yeah, it's Ashford. really off on them, but uh, they get the ball. Okay, we have a timeout on the court uh, by Abbeville, and I think he want to talk to him and sell him down, sell uh, his Abbeville team down. They've, they've committed quite, quite a few turnovers themselves. We're yes, sir. Uh, Abbeville has just really uh, gone Please ice cold, uh, have not uh, scored any Marvel points County here in, 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 in the last uh, little bit. And uh, it's, it's just a 15 to nine score with Ashford putting points on the board here to, to close the, the uh, difference in the score. 15, nine, two 15 left in the first period of play. It's been a very up-tempo game so far and a lot of turnovers and a lot of points off turnovers. We'll see what the Yellow Jackets can do. <laughs> the Yellow Jackets. Fields gets the ball down to number 34 for Ashford. That's Bracken. Fields with it. Three-point attempt by Ashford, and it sinks it. That was number 23. Dawson hits a big three-pointer. So Abbeville, Ashford's come up with two big three-pointers, and he drives to the basket. And so it in. So that's eight points in a row for the Ashford Yellow Jackets. An eight-o run. 15-14, Abbeville only with a one-point lead now. Ashford was trailing 15-6, and they've cut the lead 15-14. And we have a foul called. A reaching in on number 23 for Ashford, uh, Nick Lee. Yep, blocking foul. So, foul number 23, Lee, his first personal foul, team second foul. So, so it's, it's going to be uh, Abbeville ball under their basket. Replacing Sampson. Abbeville's having trouble getting the ball in, but they get it in to number 30. That's Durr. And he passes over to number 40. Wide open. That was Jackson. Jackson wide open under the basket. Three-point lead again. And he and travels. And a turnover. Traveling the call against Ashford. Crawford call for traveling. Durr with the ball for the Abbeville Yellow Jackets. Over to Chris Jackson. He drives around, passes into number 40. He puts it up. That's strong. Hit by Jackson. Jackson, Jackson puts, puts it in. in. <laughs> and Ashford 
throws a wild pass and is knocked out of bounds. Jackson. Coach Henry is up saying, slow it down, slow it down. Don't just throw the ball from one place to the other. Look for the open man. Ashford gets the ball. They drive down. Shot from the corner by number 34. He rolls in and out. And Abbeville loses it, almost picks up the loose ball, but it goes back to Ashford. All right, number 23 comes over to bring the ball in bounds for Ashford. That's uh, Nick Lee. Tosses it in to 22 Crawford. Crawford in the field. He turns around, he spins, he shoots, and he makes Puts it. Puts it in. Best in by Fields. 19-16, Abbeville leading Ashford. Shot by Jackson. High rebound by number 42 Best with the putback. Lawrence. Lawrence puts it in for two. Five-point lead now, and uh, Jackson able to knock it out of bounds. Ashford retains possession. Ashford trailing by five points, 21 to 16. Three-point shot by number 34, misses, and uh, they fight for the ball. It's, and Ashford comes up with the field, comes up with it, into number 34, and it's blocked by... Abbeville, and that's the end of the quarter. Wow. <laughs> uh, this is going to be another barn burn, I believe. At the end of the first uh, play, your score, the Yellow Jackets of 21 to 16 with Abbeville on top in this one. Uh, they have had as much as a nine-point lead, and uh, then it's dwindled, and now they've gone back up maintaining a five-point lead now. Ashford cut that nine-point lead. They went on an 8-0 run and cut it down to one point. Uh, Near the end of the, uh, about midway through the uh, first uh, first period of play. So after one period of play, it's the Yellow Jackets of Abbeville, 21, and the Yellow Jackets of Ashford, 16. Okay, we're back at the Dothan Civic Center for the Dothan Eagle, Dothan Progress Holiday Classic, the 20th annual. This game between the Ashford Yellow Jackets and Abbeville Yellow Jackets. Scores 21 for Abbeville and 16 for Ashford. Ashford has the ball and loses it out of bounds off of a Abbeville player. Yeah, number 22, a little, little reckless, uh, Anthony Crawford, and uh, lost the ball, but it went out of bounds, so they're able to maintain possession. Wide open shot by number Nick, 23. Nick, Nick Lee. Lee. Puts it in for two for Ashford. Three-point lead now. Four. It's a 21-18 lead for the Abbeville Yellow Jackets over the Ashford Yellow Jackets. Shot from the corner. It's up and good. Hit by Jackson. Chris Jackson, number 40, puts that in. He don't miss many from over that, in that area. Crawford takes it across court for Ashford. Another shot up by number 23. He misses. And Danzy comes down with the rebound. We haven't seen much offense out of Danzig so far tonight. He was uh, a big factor in the game last night in that uh, big win. So you can expect him to get into the into the game. A battle for the ball, and uh, Abbeville comes up with it, and uh, Danzig takes it in, and he's fouled. He'll be going to the foul line for Abbeville. Number five, Jackson. Number five, Jackson. His second personal foul, 13 foul. But he was in the act of shooting, so. Shooting two. All right, let's see if Danzig can uh, get on the scoreboard. First shot is up, and it's in. Substitutes for both schools coming in. Number 10, Terrence Thomas. I'm sorry, number 10 for uh, Abbeville, Dexter Smith, back into the game. As we have Danzy waiting at the free throw line to make his second shot. All right, he eyes the basket, and it's uh, now up in the air, and it's also good. So two for two for Danzy. Ashford gets the ball. Uh, uh, almost turn it over again. They get it across. Uh, they'll get the ball out of bounds. Chris Jackson for Abbeville is just all over the place uh, trying to create turnovers. Fields with the ball for Ashford. He's played a good game. Great pass from number 
Danzy to number 32, blocked. and it was blocked by Danzy. Ball went uh, when it bounced, it hit the hit the uh, the line. So Ashford maintains control. Field, it's called for traveling. He took one too many steps. So it's a 25-18 game. Abbeville leading Ashford. 6:26 left in the second period of play. All right, number 10, Dexter Smith bringing it down for Abbeville. Passes off to 44, Danzy. Danzy shoots a three-pointer, and it's there. So Danzy's getting into the offense of Abbeville. So he's hit Turn five over. points. And number 40, Jackson. Jackson puts it in, and the Ashford coach does not like what he sees. Not at all. It's uh, Abbeville has run up to a 12-point lead, and Ashford had... Uh, Cut the lead down to one point, and now uh, Abbeville's kind of pulling away from him in the second quarter. Yeah, number 16, uh, I'm sorry, number 40, uh, Jackson for Abbeville now has 16 points on the game. That's uh, eight two-point buckets. 16 points, and we're just uh, two minutes into the second quarter. Yeah, and then Fields, 24 for Ashford is a high score. He's got a three-point shot and uh, shot uh, and two, three two-pointers. So right now, uh, Abbeville is in control of this game. Coach Henry called timeout to try to get his guys uh, to regain their composure to not let this game slip away. And they almost made another turnover, but there's a three-point shot, and it's good by number 22, Crawford. Anthony Crawford. And a steal by Ashford, and it goes out of bounds, but that was a great effort by number 23 for Ashford. That's Nick Lee. Nick Lee stepping on the line, so Abbeville able to control. Pass off to 42, uh, but we got a reaching in foul by number 14, I think. Yeah, number 14 reaches in, draws, uh, call for the foul. Abbeville will maintain possession uh, under their end of the basket. First personal foul, 14. They get ready to throw it in. Ball in, turn around jumper by number 42. Lawrence. Lawrence makes it on a hook shot. Crawford takes it across midcourt for the Yellow Jackets. They set it up. Number 32 shot is blocked by Abbeville, and they regain possession. Out on the fast break into number 40, and that's a foul called on 14 for Ashford. A two-shot foul is going to be called on number 14 for Ashford again. Uh, That's David Chris Lowe. Jackson. Jackson at the line for the Abbeville Yellow Jackets. All right, these uh, Yellow Jackets from Abbeville High School overcoming a lot of uh, adversity here in uh, this year with the uh, tornado that uh, ripped through Abbeville and destroyed their gym uh, just a uh, few weeks back. But number 40 puts it in. Chris Jackson adds another point to the total. His second shot is now up and in the air, and it's also good. Jackson scores. So it's a 13-point lead for the Abbeville Yellow Jackets over the Ashford Yellow Jackets. Ashford's got to get something going, and they do. Nice pass. And a chance for a three-point play. Fields uh, puts that in and uh, was fouled. The Abbeville foul, number 22, Sewell, his third personal foul. And so, Sewell is called for the foul. So at the line, shooting Fields one for Ashford, Ashford is one. Fields. Fields has played a good game tonight. Uh, he has a total of 11 points. He's been pretty active thus far in the game, and, and Ashford needs a great effort from the entire team to try to overcome this nine-point uh, deficit they're in right now. So Abbeville gets the rebound, and it gets the ball out fast. And there's a foul call on number 40. That's uh, Chris Jackson. 
Yeah, number 40 pushing pushing under uh, their end of the court. Ash has got to slow down the fast break of uh, Abbeville because that's, that's where they're getting their points. Crawford takes the ball across court in the fields. Crawford pulls up for a shot. It's short. Abbeville gets the ball out on the fast break. And a great defensive effort by Crawford, and he's called for the foul. Abbeville, once they get that rebound, they have they have a man running down court and get the outlet pass, and they're getting a lot of points off they those are, fast yeah, breaks. They are very good at getting the fast break going. And uh, he was fouled under the basket attempting to shoot, so he's at the free throw line shooting two. Smith, first uh, trip to the free throw line tonight. His first shot is up and no good. But he's got another one. Another attempt here. His uh, second shot is now up in the air and it is no good. And a block by number five for Ashford. And Fields comes down with a strong rebound out to number 32. He goes up and misses. And it's a three-on-one break. And a great defensive play. Eight, number five. By number no, five. 20, 23. 23. And he's called for traveling. I, I, I know what Abbeville was trying to do. They was going to try to hit the open man for a dunk, but that was a good defensive effort by the Astro player to prevent that from happening. Yes, it was. Number, what was that, 23, Nick Lee. Dancing, Dancing from the corner. No good. Misses and White ball. it's out off of, uh, off of 40. 40. Uh, That's Chris Jackson. Jackson. Oh, we got a new player in. Okay. That's Dawson coming in the game for Ashford. Substitution. Over to Crawford. In the game is 25 for Ashford. Jamie Dawson. That was Jackson uh, knocking the ball out of bounds. Crawford takes it out for the Ashford Yellow Jackets. Into number 23. That's Nick Lee. Lee over in the corner of the field. He goes up high. Woo! Nice Lee. shot. Oh, Lee drains a big three. How about Field drains a big three? It looked like it went to the top of the Civic Center and dropped down. Yeah. Abbeville tries to answer with the three. Jackson goes up, and he Danzy. makes it. By Danzy. Danzy goes up and makes a big basket. Yep, and Fields is, uh, fouls him on the way, and uh, the ball goes in, so they can uh, complete a three-point play here if Danzy's able to put it in. Ten-point lead for the Abbeville Yellow Jackets. Every time you think they uh, about to... Give Ashford a knockout punch. Ashford finds a way to, to come back and score. Number 12, Crawford comes in along with 30, Durr. So, Danzy's, Danzy's perfect. Danzy scores. A three by number 23. That's Nick Lee. So, Ashford has hit two three pointers in a row to stay in this game. That's Danzy. Danzy's trying to take control on the offensive end for the Abbeville Yellow Jackets. Phil gets the ball over to Crawford. Another shot. And it missed. And uh, Chris Jackson gets the ball for Abbeville. And Danzy gets it, drives in, misses, but the putback by number 40, Chris Jackson for the basket. These Abbeville Yellow Jackets are just good on the assisting, and they are staying nice on the board. Nice pump move by Ashford for the basket. So Nick, 41. Who's that? Nick, Nick Lee. Nick Lee. So it's a 41-30 game. Ashford just trying to keep things within striking distance. And a foul is called. On number 42. 42. The foul number 42 Lawrence, Victor Lawrence. His first personal foul. And that's, eight that's the eighth team foul. 
you know, Ab uh, Ash was just wanting to keep things close going into halftime. If they can keep it within eight to ten points, they're still in, in, in good shape and they're within striking distance going into the second half. So it's a one and one. So going to the line for Ashford would be number 23, Nick Lee. All right, Lee is uh, setting himself up at the free throw line. Uh, a six foot sophomore. And we've got uh, we got a little bit of confusion. And the scorekeepers allowing the clock to run, so now they got to get that back straightened out and back together. Okay, it's a 31-41 game. Um, Abbeville leads Ashford, and uh, Ashford's been hanging tough, Bobby. They've uh, if they can cut down on their turnovers and prevent uh, Abbeville from getting the, the easy baskets on the fast break, they can they can move back into this game. They can get back into this game. Okay, the officials are getting together, talking it over, see what they're coming to. Um, um, they are debating on whether it's a one and one or not. And they turn it over. Crawford turns it over, but he blocks his shot, and he's called for the foul. Number 22 for Ashford uh, is called for the foul there, Anthony Crawford. And going to the free throw line will be number 12, uh, she Crawford, a 5'10". Shy Crawford. Shy Crawford. Crawford, yeah. Well, I guess yeah, that is an eye there. Shy Crawford, Shy Crawford number 12 for Abbeville at the free throw line. Shooting two. 10-point lead for the Yellow Jackets of Abbeville. It's in there. So it's 11-point lead. That's number 12 at the line for Abbeville. That's Shy Crawford. We got a Crawford on Ashford teams and a Crawford on Abbeville team, a, a Jackson on uh, on each. <laughs> on each. <laughs> so we have to try to keep them separated. Yeah, both both shots were good. Field takes the ball across midcourt for the Ashford Yellow Jackets. Just under two minutes left. Three-point attempt. And Dawson comes up with the big rebound. He puts it back for the basket. Puts it in. Ten-point lead by Abbeville now. Ashford still hanging around. They are hoping to just keep it close. And uh, uh, Ashford gets the ball. That was Dawson. With it, and Phil goes down. He hesitates, and he turns the ball over. Yeah, just uh, the, the close defense being uh, being played by number 40 for Abbeville. Uh, Chris Jackson uh, threw the rhythm off of Fields there, and he turned the ball over. Crawford with the ball for Abbeville. Over to Danz in the corner. Passes down the middle of the lane, and they turn it over. Ball off of number 34 for Abbeville. That's uh, Douglas Craddock. Yeah, Durr was trying to uh, hit Craddock in the corner, who was wide open. Fields trying to get it across. And Ashford turns the ball over to number 30. That's hit by Durr. Durr. 12 point lead. 51 seconds. Left Dawson with the ball for Ashford. Back out to Fields. Into number five. He turns around. He shoots. He's it's partially Way blocked. Short. If you watch Abbeville, they, they're always trying to get the ball out on a fast break and get the easy basket. That time they committed a foul trying to get the ball. Number 30 down. for Abbeville is uh, called for charging. His first personal foul. It's a 12 point Seven, lead for the Abbeville Yellow Jackets. 35 seconds left in the first half. Fields with the ball for the Ashford team. And they call him for traveling. He moved his pivot foot. They double teamed him and uh, forced the turnover. These uh, Ashford Yellow Jackets, when they see their teammate in trouble, they need to come over for an assist. 
and he just was not getting it then. He was double teamed and, and he had no one to throw it to and wound up uh, traveling with the ball. Number 40 Jackson for Abbeville now at 20 points on the night. 33-45. Abbeville leading the Ashford Yellow Jackets with 13 seconds left in the first half. Abbeville's going for one shot. And uh, a foul was called. Uh, looks like it's going to be on number 23, Lee. Nick Lee called for the foul at the line for Manager Abbeville. Number 23, Lee, his second personal foul. Shy Crawford. Abbeville's Cole lead by uh, 12 points, five seconds, seconds left in the first half. At the free throw line, number 12 for Abbeville, Crawford. It's two for two from the line. Now three for three. All right, he's got an opportunity to uh, put another point up for the Yellow Jackets of Abbeville. He eyes the basket, is there, it's in the air, and it is good. Crawford scores two. So it's a 14-point lead for the Yellow Jackets of Abbeville. One second left. That was an air ball. So uh, Abbeville will bring it in. Ash was just not able to cut into the lead. They uh, made a run one time, and uh, but Abbeville, uh, Abbeville has just kept pouring it on, and, and Ashford has continued to make costly turnovers. That's right. Uh, with a 14, 13 point lead, 14 point lead at the half, uh, Abbeville comfortably uh, out in front. So uh, the Ashford Yellow Jackets will go to the uh, locker room and try to regroup and come back in the third, uh, third period of play. So at halftime, the score is Abbeville 47, Ashford 33. We'll be back with second half action after these messages. Okay, we're back for second half action from the Dothan Civic Center, the Dothan Progress, Dothan Eagle Holiday Basketball Classic. This is the 20th annual, Bobby. That's right, and uh, another big crowd on hand tonight. Uh, we were handed a piece of paper that said uh, they'd taken in uh, a little over 19,000 the first two nights, so add another eight, 9,000 to the night. Uh, another big crowd, so great success. The game is 47. It's between Ashford and Abbeville, and uh, Abbeville's leading 47-33. So let's see, we're going to call, have a foul called under the basket as number 23 was fouled in the act of shooting. So, number 30 is called for the foul. That's uh, Durr for Abbeville. So 23, Nick Lee goes to the free throw line. His, for, his shot is up in the air and it's good. So, so Ashley puts the first points on the board in the second half. That's right, and Nick Lee can uh, make it two. It's, he does. So he cuts the lead to a 35-47 lead for the Abbeville Yellow Jackets. Just dancing with the ball, and he was fouled by number 32, so the Abbeville Yellow Jackets would get the ball out of bounds. His first personal foul, team first. All right, Abbeville brings it out on uh, their side of the court, getting ready to throw it in. We've mentioned Ashford's coach. I'd like to mention Coach Moses Knight from the Abbeville team. Coach Knight, is a, he's an outstanding coach and outstanding person. I've known Moses for, for many years, and he does a great job with this Abbeville team. All right, Sewell puts in two more points for the Abbeville Yellow Jackets and uh, get a turnover. And, uh, and Dawsey recovered and uh, oh, that was Jackson it. recovered and then uh, put it out of bounds. Yeah, that's uh, Dawson number 25 for Ab Ashford. So from the corner, and it's good. 
That's a two point. Dawson. Dawson, Jamie Dawson with the basket. So Ashford run off four points in the second half, and the ball was off of Abbeville player. So Ashford gets another opportunity. It's a 12 point lead for the Abbeville Yellow Jackets. All right, Ashford moving it down now. Around to 24, Lee. Uh, excuse me, Fields. Fields. Over to Lee. Over to Dawson. He made his last basket. Over to Fields. Fields drives. He gives it off to number 32 for Ashford. That was uh, Williams. He couldn't get it to fall for him. Abbeville calls timeout. I think uh, Coach uh, Knight saw something he didn't like out on the court, so he called his troops over to the sideline. Yeah, 44, uh, able to pick up uh, and, and call timeout on that with 6.18 left in the third period. 49-37 is our score. And uh, these two coaches got their squads together trying to determine what's the next move to be made here tonight. Abbeville still holding on to a double-digit lead. Ashford just has not been able to cut the lead down to single digits. 6-18 left in the third quarter. So both teams advanced uh, after first-round wins in the tournament to meet here for a second-round game. Ashford beating Gulf Shores and uh, Abbeville won over uh, Sewell puts it in a, a three-pointer. So Ashford's on the move and a steal by Durr and then a steal by the Jackets of Yellow, Yellow Jackets of Ashford. The pitch out to Dawson and he couldn't control it. Fields has the ball for Ashford. The ball was off of one of uh, Abbeville's players, so Ashford will get the ball back out of bounds. Ashford throws it in. Number 23, Nick Lee has it. And another and turnover. And a reverse slam by number... 22, Sewell with the reverse slam. Double dribbling for, on Ashford. So another turnover, costly turnover. And Abbeville gets the ball out on their end of the court. Coming in the game for Ashford, number 22, Crawford. I thought we were seeing signs of life out of the Ashford team, but the momentum has swung back toward Abbeville. Dawson, Dawson from the corner. No, Danzy up under Danzy. the basket strong and he makes basket it. Basket by Danzy. And it's good. 25 is called for the foul. That's uh, Jamie Dawson for the Ashford Yellow Jackets. So at the free throw line will be Deshaun Danzy, a 6'4 senior uh, who is 3'3 three three from the free throw line tonight. His shot is up and it rolls in good. That's his 13th point on the night. Completing the three point play. Crawford brings it across and he's, uh, his pocket is picked. And uh, he goes up and blocks his shot and gets him with the body for the foul. So 22. For Ashford is called for the foul. Anthony Crawford, two-shot foul going to the line will be number 40, Chris Crawford, Jackson. His third personal foul, third team foul. Who now has 20 points on the night, and he is also perfect from the free throw line. He's two for two. And it's a 20-point lead for the Abbeville team. It's 57-37, 4.55, and Ashford's letting this game slip away from them. They've it's just about out of reach. They've got to come up with a big run in order to get back into this game. And uh, I don't know if they have it left in them. I hope they do. 
They, they're going to have to really uh, get with it, stop the turnovers, play good defense, not do any fouls, and uh, see if they can overtake this 20-point uh, deficit that they're facing. 4.55 left in the third period of play. It's an uphill, uphill battle for the Asheville Yellow Jackets. They've got to get something going. They, they, they had one little run uh, here early in the second half, but um, they haven't been able to put anything else together. At the free throw line will be number 40, Chris Jackson for Abbeville. He is about ready to take his first shot, and it's up, and it's in. 58-37. So that's 21 points for Chris Jackson so far in the game. You can put in point number 22, and he does. He's also perfect from the line. Another turnover. And Sewell comes up with the rebound and slams it through. And Ashford turns it over again, almost. Uh, they get it back. I tell you, they, they're just kind of out of this game right now. And Abbeville is just having their way. Yes, they are. Number 40, Chris Jackson all over the court for Abbeville tonight. Ashford just not able to get any production, offensive production. Shot by Fields from the corner, missed, and a foul is called on number 22. Quite 32, foul on number 32 for Ashford. Ashford foul. That's Chris Williams. Chris Williams. His second personal foul, four team foul. 61-37, wow. Abbeville is just pulled away in this game. Abbeville brings it down. Wide open, oh, number 22 takes a shot, and it's off, no good. Chris rebound. Jackson up strong with the rebound and the basket. Jackson. Puts it in, 63-37 is the score now. And 24 and points for Jackson. Partially blocked. Big three-point basket by number 22 for Ashford. Crawford. So Ashford does get a little production, but Abbeville goes right, right down and answers. Now yeah, Brian Durr puts it in for two. Ashford keeps it alive, puts it back up by number 24 for Ashford. Basket by Fields. Mills. Mills. That was 24. 24 Fields. Jump ball. White. 23 point lead for the Abbeville Yellow Jackets. 312 left in the third period of play. A lot of time left in this ball game. Uh, a lot of basketball action left. And uh, Ashford's got to do some uh, quick scoring and play great defense. It'll take a few three pointers to get them back in. They're going for another three. It's off. Strong rebound by Deshaun Danzi. Out to Chris Jackson. He drives, passes out to number 30. He misses, air ball. Ashford comes up with the rebound. Fields brings it across midcourt. Stops, pulls up, shoots, and he misses, but Ashford gets the rebound, pass out, out of bounds. Yeah, he was trying to pass it off to number 21, Sean Mills, and uh, Mills was not looking. Rolls out a bound, so Abbeville gets control of it now. They come down offensively toward their end of the court. Uh, we got a timeout call. Timeout call. I see uh, Coach Knight has got his uh, substitutes lined up uh, along the sideline, so I think he's getting ready to take his first team out and uh, out the let some of the other guys see some game. action tonight. Well, at uh, Danzy, Deshaun Danzy just uh, looks like he has wore out uh, a couple of times on a they just stayed down on the other end of the court. 
It's, it's, it's been a tough night for Ashford. They came out. Uh, Abbeville ran off to a quick lead, but Ashford fought back and uh, fought back and, and uh, they've never taken lead, but they came within one point and just haven't been able to do anything since. All right, the Abbeville Yellow Jackets bring it in. Pass over in the corner. Ashford almost takes it away, but uh, Abbeville maintains possession. Dexter Smith with it all, passes off to Crawford. Back out to uh, Crawford, and he travels. Traveling against Abbeville. Now, uh, we talked earlier about the road that Ashford had to get to, uh, to get here. They beat Gulf Shores 53-52. Abbeville uh, beat Pleasant Home 73 to 44. And uh, from the looks of things, uh, Abbeville will advance to the next round. They'll be taking on Graceful, who defeated uh, GW, GW Long. Lee puts it in for two for Ashford. 65 44 is our score. Ashford comes up with the loose ball. Out to number 22, Crawford. He goes up, puts it in, and he's fouled. Nice uh, basket uh, layup by, by Crawford, 22. And he goes to the free throw line to try to make a three-point play out of this one. Uh, Ashford need to cash in on every three-point opportunity that they can. And this is a free point in the line if uh, Crawford can put it in. The Abbeville foul is against number 12, Crawford. His first I think first turnovers is, is what foul. really hurt Ashford in this game. Mm -hmm. I think they had a, a good chance of playing close and and, uh, and possibly coming out with a victory, but the, the excessive amount of turnovers has just really uh, devastated this Ashford team. Fast break for Abbeville. All the way to the other end. Puts it up. No good for Crawford. Crawford's got the ball again. Almost a takeaway, but he maintains control. Traveling. Traveling against Abbeville. Tra Traveling Bell called on Jermaine Bell Knight for uh, Abbeville. Members of your family at the second floor lobby. Uh, Judy Mills and her party. Right, number 14, uh, Love, is going to throw it in for Ashford. Uh, Abbeville maintains their full court pressure. Ashford tries a cross-court pass. It doesn't work. And a shot from the corner by number 14. No good. For Ashford, that's uh, Damian Love. Damian Love and bounce off the top of the backboard. So the ball goes back to Abbeville. Uh, Dexter Ab Smith with the ball for the Abbeville Yellow Jackets. He drives down between defenders, tries to pass it off. It's intercepted by Crawford. He drives down the middle of the lane. He spins, he shoots. And it rolls off of his hands. Uh, he didn't quite have control of it. And uh, he should have pulled it down and circled around, set it up, try to, to put it in for two, but uh, just trying to get that fast break going. And Ashford unable to capitalize on that turnover. Uh, the Yellow Jackets of Abbeville passing it around and uh, put, a, put a shot up. It's no good. Ashford gets a rebound. Fast break on the way. Nice pass from number Great 14, from Love. Number 12, Crawford. And they slow it down, set it up. Four seconds left in the third quarter. Shot from the corner, no good. So after three quarters of play, it's 65 for the Abbeville Yellow Jackets, 46 for the Ashford Yellow Jackets. We'll be back with the fourth and final quarter after these messages. Oh, okay, we're back for the fourth and final period of action at Abbeville's leading Ashford, 65 to 46. Abbeville moving it around. Almost lost it, but maintain control. Danzy back in the game. 44, passes over to uh, number 40, and they short, the shot is short, and we got a foul under the basket. Foul is on Ashford, number 25. That's uh, Dawsey called for the foul. Dawsey, his second personal foul, 15 foul. 
Danza takes it out into number 30. That's uh, Durer. Danza in the corner shoots, but it's blocked. Fast break underway. Up and good by, by Mills. Mills makes the basket for the Ashford Yellow Jackets. Good pass off there from uh, 32 Williams to Mills to put it in for two. Three second call, it's gotta be. <laughs> gotta be. The call against Abbeville. So, uh, Ashford gets it back off of a turnover. Let's see if they can capitalize on this turnover. Get some points and chop away at that lead. Uh, score is 65-48. Darcy with the ball for Ashford. Down the field. He takes it up with the left hand. Nice shot by field. Nice uh, movement from the right-hand side to the left-hand side of the basket. Puts it in for two for Ashford. Ashford's cut the lead to 15 points. They were behind over 20 points this uh, very short period ago. And another turnover by Danzy. Williams Ball picks over up to that Darcy. Turnover. Fields over in the corner, back to Fields. He drives and he tries to get it through the middle and turns it over. Picked up by number 42. That's Victor Lawrence. Danzy and goes Danzy in strong. By Danzy. And he'll have an opportunity to complete three points here as he goes to the free throw line again. 25 is called for the foul. Jamie Dawson. Yes, for foul number five, Jackson. His I'll third start. personal foul, 16. Jackson points. is the foul instead of 25. The line for Abbeville, shooting one. So Danzy uh, put that basket in, so he gets to the free throw line to complete a three-point play. Danzy has 15 on the night, and he could uh, add on to that total with his free throw. Up. Yes, it's in. Danzy scores. That one. was for the Mick. <laughs> Asher tries to bring it across and turn it over again. And basket's two. good. Durr puts that in for two for a Abbeville. So they're back up to another 20 point lead. Blocked by Danzy. Abbeville on the move again. 40 puts it in. Chris Jackson. Jackson is uh, really racked up some points tonight. That's 26. 26 point. And then he recovers and knocks the ball out of bounds. So uh, Jackson's he's all over the court. Substitutions coming in for Ashford. They'll throw, be throwing it in as they maintain possession. Uh, Abbeville Yellow Jackets now making substitutions. Uh, 24 coming in along with number 12, Crawford. <laughs> Ashford uh, almost throws it, does throw it away. So, up, oh, then Crawford is able to pick that up and uh, maintain control for Ashford. They shoot over in the corner, it's short. Uh, the rebound by number 24, Sampson. Into basket. Basket Jackson. Jackson. That's four. Jackson's 28th point. Pull up shot by number 14. That's Love, and he puts nails it. it. Puts it in for two. Strong rebound by number. Okay, Love goes up again, and he gets it. So Love's made two quick Love. baskets. Yep. I bet Love loves it. Yeah, he <laughs> loved Love. <it. laughs> Into Danzy, he spins, he turns, he Basket shoots, and makes by it. Danzy. That's uh, 16 points for Danzy now. Try uh, pass by number 34 for Ashford. Uh, that's Bracken, it bounces off of a Abbeville player taking the ball out of bounds for Ashford number 14, Damon Love. Love has scored two quick baskets for the Yellow Jackets of Ashford. Jackson and Danzy comes out of the game for Abbeville with substitutes coming in. That was a three-point attempt and it was a foul on the play, so number 21 for Ashford 
That's uh, Sean Mills will be going to the line to shoot three. Okay, Mills with an opportunity here. Mills at the line shooting three. Uh, this will be the first free throw attempt from Mills, and it bounces around, but no good. Mills has a total of four points so far in the game tonight. Puts it up for his fifth point. He'll get another opportunity shooting three. Was fouled while attempting the three-point shot. Mills scores two. So he gets two. So Mills has six points on tonight. Drive to the basket by uh, Abbeville player and uh, put back by number 42. That's uh, 42. That was Lawrence. Lawrence. Lawrence put that one in for a basket, and he goes to the free throw line uh, working to complete three points. Number 12 for the Ashford foul call for the foul. I'm sorry, 14, foul. Love. That sounds like a tennis match. 14, Love. <laughs> Shots up. And it's good. Lawrence scores one. So it's a 79 to 56 game with 4.23 left in the fourth and final period. And uh, Abbeville have this game uh, well under control. Ashford has the ball. Crawford brings it across midcourt. Over to Love. Love waits, spots up, shoots. And it bounces off the rim and down with the ball for uh, Abbeville, number 22. He goes coast to coast and puts it in. That's Sewell. Sewell puts it in. Drive to the basket by number 23 for Ashford. That was Nick Lee. It was unsuccessful. Foul called. Foul's called on 14 for Ashford. Blocking foul. The Ashford foul is on number 14, Love. Love is, personal foul. Love is called for a foul, and uh, he goes out of the game. Three new jackets come in. Getting a rest. With 3.50 left in the contest, 81 to 56 in favor of Abbeville. So we have uh, a tornado taking place uh, against Ashford tonight. <laughs> I tell you, Abbeville came in here, they were very prepared, but uh, early in the game, uh, Ashford hung with them, and uh, I, I thought I could smell a possible upset in the making, but I was smelling the wrong thing. Uh, yep. So at the free throw line, number 12, Crawford for Abbeville. He's about set to make his shot. It's up. No good. He misses, and Ashford's trailing by 25 points. Outlet pass, and it bounces out of bounds off number 10. That's uh, Dexter Smith, so Ashford will get the ball out of bounds. These uh, Abbeville uh, Yellow Jackets have maintained the hustle throughout the game, also a full court press. And so. still putting a lot of defensive pressure on the Ashford team. Fields from the corner. And it bounces off and it's out to number 10 for Abbeville. That's uh, Smith. Shot by number 32, missing 34, gets the rebound. That's, uh, we go back up with the number 20 for Abbeville, gets the fall in. Dexter Glantham with the basket. Fields has it for Ashford. Ashford passes around over in the corner. Miss Field goes up big, strong, puts it up. That was number 23. Lee. Lee with the big, strong rebound and the putback. 83-58, 302 left in the game. No good. Rebounded by Abbeville. 32 puts it in there and it's short, blocked by 34 and it's no good. Uh, Glanton got the rebound and traveling under the basket. <laughs> 2.46 remaining, 83-58 here's our score with uh, Ashford on the short end of the score tonight. 
Bobby, it's going to be interesting to see Dothan I pull out a narrow victory tonight over a, 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 a good team from Barber County. Dothan won 62-60, and they'll be taking on Great. Greenfield Academy, Great. who defeated Northview earlier tonight. So uh, Whitfield has got to go through both Dothan teams in order to Advance. make it to the, uh, the finals. Big block by Jamie Dossie for Ashford then. But Abbeville maintains control. But I tell you, I think uh, Dothan High is going to be uh, really going to play really hard. They saw how close Northview was able to hang with them for three quarters, and and so that probably instills some confidence in them. And they are the defending uh, Holiday Classic champions, so they they've got to live up to that uh, that title. 22 takes a three-point shot, three and it's in. Point basket Anthony Crawford puts it in for three. A block shot by Dawson. Crawford gets it. He brings it down, and uh, the ball is off of an Abbeville Abbe player, and uh, Dawson dies for the ball, and Ashford will get it out of bounds, uh, and they'll get another opportunity to score. These guys are still hustling on both squads. 83-61 is the score. Abbeville on top. DeAndre Walker comes into the game for the Ashford Yellow Jackets, number 30. And he's fouled by number 10. Number 10, that's uh, Smith. That is foul. It's on number 10, Smith. His first personal foul, fourth team foul. All right. For only the fourth team foul for Abbeville in the second half. It's 144 left in the game, and it's just a matter of time before this one's over. Dawsey from the right-hand side of the goal, and he misses. But a strong rebound and put back by number 23 for Ashford. That was Nick Lee. Good, strong move by Lee. And he goes to the line. And it's, uh, it's an 83-63 game, 132 left. And Nick Lee's at the line. He can complete a three-point play if he makes this free throw. Uh, the last foul, uh, I didn't get the, get the number. Shot by uh, Lee, it's good. Lee so he, he completes a three-point play. So Lee has 16 points for the night. Tied for the lead for Ashford scores. Strong rebound by number 32. The put back by number 10, no good. 34 puts it back up. And it's in. That's number That's 34, Douglas Braddock. Craddock. With the scorekeeper for GW Long High School, please report to the scores table. Ashford takes the ball out. Bring it down court to Darcy. Into number three, Nick Lee. Nick Lee pulls back. He shoots, misses. 32 for Abbeville comes down with a strong rebound. That's uh, Jermaine Knight. Okay. Shot from the corner by 14. Rebound by number 20. That's uh, Dexter Glanton. Back out to Smith. Baseline nice by... Nice move by number 20, Glanton. To put it in for two. Ashford now on the move again. Number 30 takes a shot for Ashford. No good. Uh, that was Walker. Nice uh, pitch in and assist. Number 14, Stanford puts it in for two for Abbeville. 89-64. That was uh, number 23 for Ashford. Nick Lee driving for the basket. 32, Knight. Number 32, Knight, his first personal foul, 15 foul. At the free throw line will be Nick Lee for Ashford. First shot is up, and it's... We have special guest in Mick. Yeah, he has a few words he want to say. And uh, I'd like for uh, my buddy Mitt, uh, Al Michaels Price here. And uh, <laughs> uh, guys, you just can't say enough about Moses Knight and the job he's done. Don't you agree? 
Uh, Moses has done a, uh, a wonderful job with this program in Abbeville. They are consistent competitors and consistent winners year after year. Uh, that's a good point that uh, the Meg brought up about the quality of uh, the quality of program that uh, Coach Moses Knight uh, maintains at Abbeville High School. Bobby and uh, Mitt, I just wanted to say the tornado, as Bobby pointed out, was November the 5th, election night. Yep. And, you know, you can't help but think this is the motivation for Abbeville. They are playing harder than you've ever seen them. And Moses Knight, uh, they're not worried about a basketball opponent when you've been through what they've been through. That's true. Don't look. I mean, they, they, were the, they were in the gym practicing. That's correct. So they're not really worried about the other team. And remember, teams that run against uh, Abbeville are like dogs who chase cars. They're not around very long. <laughs> look for Abbeville to go a long way this year. Uh, Thanks, Megs. They look those, good tonight. Yeah. Those very insightful comments. <laughs> all right, let's recap the scoring for you. For Ashford, have you got, have you got it all together here, man? All right, pretty close. Okay, for Ashford in their losing effort, uh, number five, Jackson, with two. Uh, for 14, Love with four. Mills, uh, 21, had six points. 22, Crawford with 11. Number 23, Lee with 18 points. Fields, number 24, had 16. Dossie, seven points. Number 25, Dossie. And then uh, 32, Williams had uh, two points in the game to round out the totals for Ashford. And for Abbeville, we got two big guys. Number 40, Jackson, scores 28 points. Perfect from the free throw line, four for four. Uh, second high score, number uh, 44, Danzy. Perfect from the free throw line, five for five. Scores 18 points on the night. Then we have two other guys in double figures. Uh, number 22, Sewell with 11 points. And number 30, Durr with 11 points. <laughs> And let's see, we had uh, Crawford with four, Stanford four, Glanton with four, uh, Craddock with two, and Lawrence with nine to round out the scoring for Abbeville. Just a great effort uh, on behalf of the uh, Abbeville Yellow Jackets tonight in this contest to advance to uh, games on Monday night. Uh, it was an outstanding effort by the Abbeville Yellow Jackets. Ashford came out and they played pretty tough. Abbeville started off fast, but Ashford uh, uh, gained some momentum and went on an 8-0 run to, to, to get back uh, close. It was a 15-14 lead, and uh, they just weren't able to maintain uh, uh, just the pace of Abbeville. Abbeville uh, got most of their points off of fast breaks and turnovers, and Ashford committed uh, too many turnovers, and, and that was uh, that's what really cost them the game. I think you're right, and uh, it's been uh, you know great uh, tournament action here at the Civic Center uh, with this uh, this tournament that uh, it's put on annually, the 20th annual, going on right now with the Dothan Progress Dothan Eagle Holiday Prep Classic, and a lot of action to, to continue here for the remainder of uh, this tournament. And uh, we just uh, want to congratulate the Progress and the Eagle for the efforts that they've done. Also the sponsors that have put this thing together and uh, for the staff at the Eagle and uh, the work they've done, the officials for the jobs that they're doing. And uh, we just can't say enough about uh, this tournament. It's just, uh, it's great. It, it's a great event, Bobby. They have, uh, they have just really put together a, a, a great tournament and it, it seems to get better every year. And uh, we can't say enough about the, the sponsors of this tournament, the major sponsors, the Dothan Parkers, the Dothan Eagle. And uh, this year, Home Oil Company is uh, the headline sponsor for this, uh, this event. And uh, we talked to Nathaniel Frazier last night, who's over sponsorships, and he said it's just amazing how the sponsors come forward to, to help put on this event. He thinks it's, it's just amazing. And, uh, you really don't have to really go out. They come to you, and they want to be part of this event because it's such an asset to the whole Wildgrass area. He says they have a waiting list of uh, sponsors wanting to get in uh, because they try not to do competing sponsors. Uh, so uh, that kind of narrows the field a little bit uh, unless someone uh, wants to bow out for a year. Uh, South Trust has been with them for quite some time, and both, uh, both the hospitals here in town 
and uh, just some great sponsorship activity for the Civic Center, good publicity for the Civic Center, good publicity for the city of Dothan. This tournament's known all over the state. And Bobby, uh, you know, you, you have a good level of competition here. We have a team here from Atlanta, which is north, and we have had a team participating from Gulf Shores, Shores which is uh, down uh, suburb of uh, Mobile. That's right. And uh, to, to kind of set the action for what's going to take place on Monday night, uh, Dothan is going up against the number one ranked uh, team in, uh, in Georgia. Uh, that's Whitfield Academy from the Atlanta area. And, uh, and then, of course, Abbeville is also going to be playing Monday night. They'll play the winner of the uh, GW Long and Graceful contest uh, that's, that's still to go on in the uh, game on Saturday night. So, Bobby, I think we've, we've had an exciting night. I don't know if, if we had another game to do. I don't know if I can make it through. We'd have to let the Mac do it. I, I, I tell you what, <laughs> after those first couple of games, in the beginning, first half of this game, it, it takes a lot out of you, but uh, I love every minute of it. It's the next best thing to being out there on the court uh, coaching is to, is to be here in the broadcast booth. That's right. It, uh, it's been a lot of fun, and uh, we look forward to the next uh, games that we'll be doing here at this tournament at the Civic Center. So that's going to about wrap it up for tonight. Uh, the Abbeville Yellow Jackets came out on top of the Ashford Yellow Jackets. And uh, for uh, Mitt Kirkland, Bobby Price, and uh, statistician, that's uh, DJ, and Stephen, our ace cameraman, I want to wish everybody a good night from the Dothan Civic Center and the Dothan Eagle Dothan Parkers Holiday Classic Tournament. Good night. Your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network.